check that out. I'm, I'm like literally hitting hard and it's like... Man, today I woke up at like 10.30 and I was like, what the hell am I doing with my life? I mean, the sun is all out. It's like super hot right now. Dude, okay, I think it is time for another video. Let me just close this. Let's see which enclosure. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Today is going to be yet another rehouse. Sorry about the sun. I'm not quite sure which torrential I'm going to be rehousing just yet because I haven't really planned it. Yo, my brayeri. Yo, bro. Remember this one from the uh, plastic bag shipment thingy? Yep, she's big now she is quite a big and fat girl but yeah anyways let's choose an old world to rehouse now i've got some old worlds down here in these sorry if it's not focused dang it phone what are you doing man i bought you for a reason there we go there's an old world somewhere in these shoebox enclosures oh man what the yeah i think we'll rehouse this one because i can see there's a mushroom over here now this is my Terranochilus cordatus well we're gonna be rehousing her because there's like a freaking mushroom there's like a few actually i don't know because it, it's pretty damp in here because if you guys don't know quite a few of my tarantulas died from the heat wave so i put a lot of them in these shoe boxes on damp substrate and they've been doing fine ever since but the heat wave is now gone so we're going to be putting them back into their so-called dry enclosure but let's choose which enclosure that girl would do good in hmm let me see let me see let me see i saw one just now with a lot of yeah this one i think i'll put her in this one because as you can see there is a lot of like anchor points sorry dang it phone really dude yeah you see there's a lot of anchor points for her to build her web because this girl as you guys saw she is quite a heavy webber i would say like oh my gosh phone like she webs up the whole floor once she webs up the whole floor for this one that'll look pretty darn awesome yeah okay fine phone you, you just i think today is not the day for this phone anyways let's get this enclosure down there and we'll see how this girl reacts acts to her new enclosure yeah i think that'll be good let's go now this girl she is pretty bolty if you guys didn't see when i picked up the shoe box enclosure just now she just started running all over the place but yeah i can't even find my catch cup like what is wrong with me i don't even know i don't have a catch cup how am i gonna like rehouse this crazy girl i thought i put my catch cup here yesterday i don't know hmm guys okay if there's no catch cup this is gonna be a difficult job because i mean this girl she is cuckoo you guys saw her right what can i do okay wait let me just show you what's in this enclosure first before i show you what's going on in here okay so over here we've got a piece of wood like I think it's a, it's not a driftwood. I think it's a normal wood, like sticking out. And then we've got some little stones over here just for some decorations because it makes the enclosure look better. It gives it a little bit more character. We've got some moss over here, which is still damp, but I mean, this species, they don't require super damp substrates. So I'm pretty sure the moss will slowly all die out and become brown. Um, Down here, we've got some of these twigs kind of things to help her to anchor web. We've got some dried leaf over here. This is a real plant, by the way. Not sure what it's called. If you guys know let me know in the comments below it's still green and healthy i mean it's not planted in is it i'm not quite sure hmm yeah okay um then we've got some regular old plastic aquarium plants over here which makes the enclosure look pretty darn decent so oh yeah sorry guys this phone is like really not cooperating today but yeah over here we will be putting the water dish gotta like pack it down a little bit because i mean it has to be a flat surface to put a water dish right sorry about that so yeah now take a look at at this enclosure you see she is a little bit crazy okay she's pretty shy also all right so as you can see over here she has pretty much webbed up the whole floor which looks awesome she's not very big she's about five inches i would say four and a half to five inches and this was her last mold i didn't take out so she just decided to like rip it what is that pink thing over there i am not sure but yeah this was her last mold that she decided to rip off and um this is some palm tree thingy i'm not gonna put my hands over there because she is a baboon and you know baboons they can be a little bit cuckoo at times and then over here here we've got her nice water dish with two mushrooms hmm you guys remember the yellow mold right those mold are actually mushroom spores so yeah you see over here i believe these things are mushroom spores so that is why these things um started to grow but don't worry they are not harmful to the tarantula from what i know but i still don't like them growing in the enclosure although they make the enclosure look slightly more naturalistic i have no idea but yeah let's get this girl into here and we'll see how that goes but i don't even have a catch cup like 
this is not good. Not at all. Okay. Oh man, I gotta go look for a catch cup because I cannot risk not having a catch cup with this girl. No idea where's the catch cup, guys. I, I swear I put it like right there yesterday and then now it's like just gone. I don't even know. Okay. I mean, the wing skill is there. Shouldn't the catch cup be with the wing skill since I weighed the tarantula out using the catch cup onto the wing skill? I'm not sure. What is wrong with me? I'll just close this first while I go look for the catch cup because, you know, this girl, look at her. She's a little bit crazy. Oh man, I don't want her to get out on me. I found the catch cup, guys. I found the catch cup. Well, actually, it's not the catch cup. It's another catch cup that I just found lying around my house. So yeah, let's get this girl into this enclosure and we'll see how that goes, yo. Whoa, look at her. She's insane. I think there were like two molds in here that she already crushed because like one is over here and one is over here. Or maybe is that the same one? I'm not quite sure. But then there are like pieces over there as well. But yeah, anyways, let's see if she will get into... You know what? I'm going to try this other method where I don't use the catch cup. Hopefully this goes as planned because I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I'll put this in here like this, right? And then we will see if she can climb upward. Sorry, the phone wasn't focused. Was it not focused all the time? I'm not sure. Let's see if she'll climb up this and run into that. That'll be pretty interesting. Let's see. But don't worry. I've got a catch cut ready here. If she decides to bolt the other way, then we have got to go and chase her. So yeah, got to extend my, what you call this snake hook. But now it's no more a snake hook. It's a tarantula hook. Yeah. So let's see how she does. Okay, guys, give me a good luck. Oh, okay. Go up. Go up, girl. No, 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 no. Not the hook. You go up and we'll be good to go. Yeah, come on. It's my new way of rehousing you, girl. If this fails, then in the future, I will not be using this method. Oh, yeah, go up, go up, go up. Slow and steady. Wins the race, you guys know that. Ooh, boy. Check her out, you guys. She is beautiful. Oh, man. Looking very, very stunning. And now, time to get her into there. I think this is like the biggest they get. They don't get very, very big. Go on. Oh, no worries because this girl will not kick hairs. Old worlds don't kick hairs. They just, you know, bite. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 I got a fright there because that, that's metal. I mean, that, that's magnet, right? Oh my gosh. I got a fright. <laughs> I was like, what the hell happened? All right, come on, girl. Let's go. Just move your butt into the new enclosure. You're going to love this enclosure, girl. I guarantee you that. No, you're not. You're not turning this way. You're going uh, that way. Go that way oh no you're not coming back you're not coming back you're going that way reverse reverse come on let's go let's go let's move in let's move in no do not don't bite the thing you gotta like slowly go in and then you will find your uh new place to chill okay no worries guys i'm not hurting her in any way just touching her legs so she will slowly tippy toe back into the i mean not back into i mean tippy toe into the new enclosure because this enclosure is one that she will in fact enjoy come on girl just move a little bit and we are good to go just go in you're almost there go girl go almost there don't you dare like once you're over there you bolt back into this enclosure oh no no do not do that girl oh okay you're almost there girl go go no you're not coming this way you are going you're almost there you know just gotta feel the ground and yep and you're good to no 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 you're not coming back up you're going in good girl yeah there we go Enjoy your new enclosure, yeah. Now we're gonna get the, uh, what you call that, water dish. Just plop it over there. Hey, what are you doing? Dude, hey, I'm filming, go away. Yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> Did he hear me? Oh, fine, you wanna like, show me your butt now, okay. Fine. By the way, he is 10 years old, so that's why he looks really old. Anyways, this girl is in. Let's go get a water dish, which you guys already know is in here. And now we, sorry, I just had my lunch and yeah, I gotta wash that in a bit. As for now, we've got her water dish and we're gonna be putting it, of course, into the enclosure. Otherwise, where else would we put it? Right? Let's just plop it over here. It's not a good idea for me putting my hands near an old world, but that will be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yo, this web is like super thick. Check that out. I can't even like pierce through it. Like, yo. 
check that out. I'm, I'm like literally hitting hard and it's like, it's not breaking you guys. That's like, yo, I think that's why I read somewhere that people use tarantula uh, web. No, is it tarantula or like some other spider web to make like bulletproof stuff? Yo, I'm not sure if that is right. I have no idea, but regardless, it is super hard as you guys can see. Like, yeah, I have to like poke like super hard before it starts to break. And can you imagine if you like compile all of them together in like one strong thing? Yeah, I think it'll be pretty darn strong. So yeah, guys, um, that'll be it. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed. Thumbs it down if you didn't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Laters. Peace.